this straight. Peanut butter is a liquid, but hand sanitizer isn't. What the? Today, we're going to talk about how to pack your carry-on bag for the airplane and what is allowed in your carry-on bag. Hey y'all, it's Christy the Gen X Gypsy and welcome. Today we are going to talk about what you can take in your carry-on on an airplane these days and I'm going to show you how I pack my carry-on so that I can get through TSA security a lot faster. Now just to clarify, I am just going to be showing you how I pack my carry-on backpack. I'm not going to be showing you how I pack for carry-on suitcase. Wait, what? Now how I put things in my backpack is definitely determined by what time of day I am flying. I do a lot of east to west coast flying, so usually one way I'm doing a red eye and the other way I'm flying during the day. Today we're going to assume that I am flying during the day and not on a red eye. Now let's first discuss what I use for my essential carry-on bag when I fly. This is a backpack that I've been using for oh, about three years or so. If I can find one that's similar to this, I will link it below in the description. The other bag that I use sometimes, this bag, which is more like kind of, yeah, it's a little more office-y looking. It's not quite as big and can't hold quite as much as this backpack can. So I don't use it all that often unless if we are flying during the day, I still like to have my blanket with me because you never know if you're gonna get uh, delayed or you're gonna miss your flight and you might have to spend the night in an airport even if you're flying during the day. And I also like to take my turtle, which I've talked about so much. And if you've missed it in any of my other videos, I will link it below in the description. But I take those two things, I set the blanket inside the turtle so it makes kind of a nice squishy little thing there and then I stick that in the very bottom of my bag because you're not going to have to pull that out when you're going through security. The next thing I pack is my laptop and I do put it in this case here, this nice little foamy case as an extra protection even though my backpack does have a padded pocket that it goes in. Because you have to take out your electronics that are bigger than your cell phone when you go through security, I also put my Kindle in with my computer and I zip them up together so that when I go through security, I can just pull this out at one time, unzip it, pull the computer out and the Kindle at the same time, put it in its own bucket and boom, you're done. So this goes in the little padded pocket inside the backpack. The next thing I put in is my bag of cables and cords, which I'm going to pack up. I don't put these near the top because they're not something that I am probably gonna need pretty quickly upon flying, and I don't need to take them out for TSA, so they just kinda go down um, into the backpack. The things that I put in here are a car USB charger, just in case I've got a rental car or I'm riding in somebody else's car and they don't have a car charger, computer charger, hard drive, because when you do all of these videos, you gotta have something to save them on, USB SD card reader, again, for, for doing all of these videos, which if you haven't had a chance to subscribe yet, if you wanna take the opportunity right now to hit that subscribe button, and if you're liking what you see so far, give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. The next thing that goes in here is a regular uh, USB charging port. I think that's what these are called. And I just put that in here. And then I have my two different cables. This one is for the iPhone. And I will wrap this up and I use my handy dandy gear tie. So if you've missed either of my Amazon haul videos, you should check those out because these are one of my favorite things and they're probably one of the least expensive travel gadgets you can get that it's a huge bang for your buck. So I just wrap that around my cables. This one is the USB-C port one, which pretty much charges everything else up that I own that isn't Apple. My Fitbit watch charger. And last but not least is my portable charging battery that I've had for years. And if you watch my five essentials that I pack with me on my carry-on, this is one of them. Zip that up 
and we'll stick that down into the bottom of the bag. So next is my food. If you are bringing along your own food to eat while you travel, which I highly recommend doing, as of last summer, the TSA is now requiring you to have it in its own clear plastic bag that you pull out while going through security. I realized that if you watched my last video on my Amazon haul and my issue with continuing to buy clear bags for no apparent reason, I figured out a reason to use one of those bags. We're gonna use it to put the food in. Since peanut butter is an issue, an option is peanut butter powder. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons in here, mix with water once I'm at the airport or wherever I am going to want to eat the peanut butter and use it as a dip for my carrots. Not only is it now not a liquid, but it's also healthier for you. If you do want to take snacks that are packaged up like these olives or the little packages of peanut butter that you can get, you will have to put things like this in your liquids bag. I have these handy dandy little bamboo spork spork spoon combo that I take along with me to eat my salad. All done! So when you're going through security, the order of things when you get to the conveyor belt is to take your electronics out, your computer, your Kindle, your iPad, anything else that is bigger than your cell phone, you're gonna take that out of your carry-on and you're gonna put that in one of the gray bins. Then you'll have a second gray bin that you are going to need to put your shoes in. I highly encourage you to wear shoes that are easy to get on and off for both you and the people behind you. But in that bin, you're gonna put your shoes, your bag of food, liquids bag, and then that container is going to go on through the screening process. And then your carry-on bag can just go on the conveyor belt by itself. You can leave your cell phone in there, your belt in there. If you wear a belt, again, I would highly encourage you to wear the most simple outfit that you can when you fly, mostly for comfort, but also getting through security just just try to keep it simple. Try to avoid zippers, avoid belts, avoid shoes that tie up or zip down. You're gonna be sitting on a plane for a few hours to several hours and you wanna be as comfortable as you can. At least I do. <laughs> so back to our packing. You don't have to have a fancy bag like this to put your food in. It does need to be clear. You can just use a gallon size Ziploc bag. Because it is a little extra big, I'm gonna roll it down and then I'm gonna slide it there on top of my blanket and my pillow. Next, I have my sunglasses, which I do not want to put in my suitcase just because they are they were a splurge and I don't want anything to happen to them. I do carry the hard case and then I throw in an extra pair of reading glasses in here too so that it's not just taking up too much extra space. I'm gonna stick that down on the side because I may need those when I get to the other side, but I don't need to have them while I'm in the airport or in the plane. Let's talk about the TSA liquids rules. They call it the 3-1-1 rule. I don't know that it actually makes it any easier to remember. You are allowed one quart size bag per one passenger and inside that bag, none of the liquids can be more than 3.4 ounces. It has to be a bottle that doesn't hold any more than 3.4 ounces. So make sure you decant your things into smaller bottles if that's what you wanna take with you. Now, what constitutes a liquid? TSA deems anything that is a cream, a gel, an aerosol, or obviously a liquid is considered a liquid. And that is why peanut butter mashed potatoes which is a common example given who who's traveling with friggin mashed potatoes i mean I, I mean i guess i'm traveling with rice salad but mashed potatoes it just seems so random anyway those items will have to go in a liquids bag so make sure when you're thinking about food to bring along with you that you take that into consideration about what will need to be in your liquids bag and what doesn't need to be in your liquids bag they are now allowing you to carry up to 12 ounces of hand sanitizer that does not have to go in your liquids bag because <laughs> i mean honestly it would take up your whole entire liquids bag i don't think that you really need that much hand sanitizer because it's so available everywhere that you're traveling i you know i'm perfectly fine with my little you know travel size 
for traveling. But if you do want to bring a larger size of hand sanitizer with you, and you are allowed to do that up to 12 ounces, you will need to remember to take this out and put it in the same gray bin that has your liquids bag, your food bag, and your shoes. This is a this is only an eight ounce uh, bottle of hand sanitizer, but you are allowed up to a 12 ounce bottle of sanitizer. That's the only exception at this point. If you have any questions about what constitutes a liquid, what needs to go in your liquids bag, or any other questions that you have about TSA security, I would highly recommend downloading the TSA app. They are very responsive to answering questions. So I would take advantage of that if you have a question about TSA security. Another interesting thing I keep seeing about liquids and getting them through TSA security is that if something is frozen, it doesn't count as a liquid. I have a question for you guys. What are you taking through TSA security that's frozen? Like I get if maybe you have an ice pack that you are putting with your food so that it stays cold, but what else are you freezing just in order to get through TSA security? I'm just curious because I don't have anything that I would freeze to get through security that I can think of. But if there's something out there, I should be thinking about freezing to get through security. I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below. I am really, really curious about this. Next, I'm gonna put my liquids bag into my carry-on and here is how I packed my liquids bag. When you put things in horizontally, like so, you can actually fit a lot more in the bag. If you've watched my video on how to not get sick on a plane, then you know I like to use this triple antibiotic cream on the inside of my nose after I've gotten on board the plane, just to give me an extra layer of not having those germs go up my nasal passages. I know we're all wearing masks on planes right now, but you know, why not be extra safe? bag somewhere that is easy to access when you are going through the security because you are going to have to pull it out I'm gonna put it up here on top of the food because the computer is right there behind it and since I'm gonna to have to pull out the computer and the liquids bag I may as well have them right next to each other so that it is easy to pull out and it takes less time the last thing I'll probably throw in this main compartment is a scarf of some sort now, depending on which airport you are going through, sometimes they make me take it off, sometimes they say it's fine to leave it on. You just never know, and I've gotten to the point, I just go ahead and leave it in my carry-on, and I'll put it back on after I get through security. It's just really not that big of a deal, and it saves time and hassle from if they're making you take it off, etc. So I just keep that in the top there, if I want to be able to access it. Now before you get to the point where you have to take the stuff out of your carry-on to put onto the conveyor belt, you are going to have to show the TSA agent your ID and your boarding pass. So you want to make sure that you have your ID or your ID handy as well as your boarding pass whether it's on your phone or you have a paper version of it. This backpack has a little zippered compartment here at the top that's the perfect size for holding all of those items. I also try to travel with something that has pockets, whether it's my pants or if it's during the winter, I have a coat on or a jacket that has pockets. I try to wear something that makes it easy for me to just pull it out and to give to the agent. If not, like I said, I have this pocket that is perfect. Once you show the agent your ID and your boarding pass, just stick it down into your carry-on bag. You do not need to show your boarding pass again to the TSA agents that are conducting the search of your carry-on bag or when you walk through the detectors. I also like to travel with a little RFID ID holder because all I really need is a credit card or two, a little bit of cash, I have my global entry card in here as well. 
which I am going to do another video about global entry and TSA pre-check and clear and all of those things, which make going through security way, way faster. But for now, we are just talking about regular security. But I do like to travel with that, it's handy, and I put that into the same pocket that I have my phone and my passport in. Now to talk about some other things that you're gonna wanna have in your carry-on bag on the plane with you. The first are headphones. I talked about these wireless headphones in my Five Essentials video. I love these things, but I do like to carry old-fashioned headphones with me just in case I'm on a plane that does provide movies with the screen in the seat back in front of you and you can plug in your headphones to listen to them. The airlines are giving away headphones still, but they're just not nearly as good and I like having my own. These aren't an expensive pair, but they're nice to have and they don't take up a lot of space. This backpack has another little zippered pocket on the inside of this pocket, so I put the headphones in there so they are easy to access. I do want to point out that this backpack has a nice light interior, so if it's shoved under the seat in front of you and you're trying to find something and it's really dark down there, it is much easier to find it when you're looking against this light interior than down into the hull of a black interior of a bag. The next item I talked about in my five essentials as well is Kleenex. I just like having a pack of Kleenex on the plane with me. And this backpack has this open pocket right here at the front. So I'll just stick my Kleenex down in there. Talk about easy to get to, it's fantastic. Now in this scenario where we're pretending that I'm going on a trip that I'm packing fully carry on and I'm not checking a bag and for whatever reason, I'm not able to go through TSA pre-check. I packed my liquids bag with all of my makeup and my toiletries. Well, I don't necessarily need to have access to all of those things when I'm on the plane. I have this extra little bag and in here, I'm gonna put my Q-tips, my lip liner, my lipstick, and my chapstick, none of which I have ever been flagged going through security for. And then when I get to the other side of security and I'm either at my gate or somewhere where I'm, you know, just waiting for the flight to take off, because generally after you've gotten through security, you have anywhere from a half an hour to an hour before you're going to start boarding. And that gives you plenty of time to kind of move things around if you want to. Once I get through security, I will pull my liquids bag out, pull out the Neosporin, and I'll pull out the eye drops because my eyes get super red on the plane. Transfer those two items into this bag, put that back in my actual carry-on for the airplane, and take my liquids bag and put it into my bigger carry-on bag. Then you just don't have as much stuff in your carry-on bag that's under your feet when you're trying to get things while you're flying. It's, it's just nice to have less in there. The last couple of items I have are a pair of reading glasses and I do like to put them in a little bit of a protective bag. I will put those in the same little pocket that I put my wallet and my ID and everything because I might need them at the counter or something else because I need reading glasses now. Next I have the handy dandy lens cleansers, cleaners, cleansers, you know what I'm talking about that I talked about in my Amazon haul video as well. I'll put these in one of the inside pockets here. Again, just makes it easy to get to if I need them. I have a couple of pins because you never know when you might need pins. And I like to journal sometimes on the plane. Well, not really journal. I like to make to-do lists when I'm on the plane. So I will bring along a little journal slash notebook in order to write in. This is some one that I picked up at the dollar store. They have some of the cutest journals there. Last but not least, I will bring along some disinfecting wipes. I'll take out like five or six sheets of these, stick them in a Ziploc bag, and throw them in that front open pocket where the Kleenex are so that I have them readily available. Now on the outside of the bag, I have a couple of things down here that I do carry. I have a carabiner on the outside here that if I want to attach the backpack to the rollaway bag, I can do that using the carabiner. And then I also have this awesome 
hand sanitizer that came in a bottle that has a little rubber cable cord, whatever you want to call it, that attaches to the outside so it's easily accessible and you can get to it throughout your flight or throughout traveling through the airport. I'd love to hear your tips and tricks for getting through TSA security quickly. And if you have any other ideas that you'd like to hear from me for travel tips. I know this video has ended up being a little bit on the long side, but I hope it's been helpful to you, especially if you haven't traveled in a long time, or this is the first opportunity you've gotten to go on an airplane and fly somewhere, which yay! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does make a big difference. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. There you go. Whew. The workout is, oh, whoops. Oh my God. Blah, 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 blah.